Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I hope you're all doing well. We are going to have some fun today. Or I am at least, and I hope you are as well. Today, I want to play dress up again. I did this video a while back where I asked you guys to send in suggestions for fictional scenarios that I could dress up for, and it was so much fun, and you guys really seemed to enjoy the video as well. So that is what I'm gonna do again Today, I asked you guys over on Instagram to once again come up with fictional scenarios that I could put together outfits for. And let me tell you, you guys came through with some amazing suggestions. I'm really excited to get started. So let's jump straight into the first outfit. My hobbit look, a female hobbit look. It was a bit of a struggle. I feel like hobbit looks always require lots of layering, earth tones, and yeah, poofy sleeves, of course, layering skirts, bare feet, obviously, and curly hair. So I pulled out the wig today, which is just pulled back into a little ponytail. I always love doing hobbit looks. I feel like hobbit looks are where it's at. I do wish the apron was a little bit narrower. I think it would work better if it was just in front. Look, it's already so much more hobbity, but that's just too much bulk at the waist. So, you know, this is gonna have to do. This is the look, the hobbit look, ready to party all night long. So let's move on to outfit number two. Here is what I would wear berry picking with Gerald of Rivia. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so this one was a bit of a challenge. I'm not as familiar with the world of The Witcher uh, as I am with, for example, Lord of the Rings, of course, but I feel like I captured the vibe pretty well. Leather pants are essential, non-negotiable. <laughs> If I'm completely honest, I think the costume design on The Witcher show is all over the place. And I haven't played the video games, so that's the only visual I have for the story. But yeah, I decided to go with lots of layers. And aside from my whites being entirely too clean, I think this is, this is what I would wear. Berry picking with Gerald of Rivia. I forgot my bag. There we have it. An essential part of this outfit. Needs to be functional, of course. So yeah, I really tried not to use this vest again, but I just had to. It needed layers. I feel like this, this blouse was way too white. I feel like a witcher outfit needs layers, like most fantasy <laughs> outfits do. Statement necklace made of natural materials, of course, and um, huge amounts of hair, somewhat braided, somewhat loose. It's a functional outfit for berry picking, as well as fighting off any monsters that one might encounter during the berry picking. I say we're good. <laughs>
is what I would wear exploring secret passageways in a very old university library. I adore this look. I would wear this look. I might have worn this look. I'm not 100% sure, but this is something I would definitely wear in my daily life. I just, I just love everything about this. And I think this is the perfect outfit for exploring secret passageways in a university library. I would blend right in with the crowd. I have a bag for storing treasures and snacks. I am wearing flat shoes that are academic, but also practical. <laughs> And I just, yeah, I love this outfit. I think this is a very good look and I would be happy to wear this exploring all buildings. I went with an outfit with many layers once again. So I have a white blouse, then I have a sleeveless sweater over that and a blazer. I'm wearing some paper bag trousers. Everything's in neutral kind of earthy tones. And of course some Oxford shoes to finish off the look and a satchel backpack which just screams dark academia and I absolutely adore it. Let's move on to the next one. This, this is what I would wear to an Evanescence concert, circa 2007, if I had the resources to wear what I wanted to back then. This is the most cathartic outfit prompt I have ever gotten. <laughs> oh, it feels good. Yes, this is it. This is my 16 year old self's dream. I wasn't 16 in 2007. Uh, whatever. Also the prompt said 2005, but I think I was 12 then, so notched it up a little bit. This, this, this is it guys. This is it. I was obsessed with Evanescence when I was younger. I don't know how many of you have been here for that long, but actually one of the first things I did on YouTube was a bunch of Amy Lee hair tutorials. <laughs> and her style around the time that the Good Enough video clip came out was just everything I ever dreamed of and I was convinced at that point that that would be the way I would dress for the rest of my life. Didn't happen that way but <laughs> we are here now and this is this is it. Oh funny thing also that all of these clothes I haven't touched in years and years and years and I did in fact get to see Evanescence in concert and I didn't wear this although I'm pretty sure I already had it but the beer spill risk is just too great and I spent all my money on these clothes. Honestly, I don't really want to change out of this, but I think it's time to move on to the next outfit. Let's spin around one more time. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is what I would wear if I was running a specialty bookstore. This is also what I wear when I am running a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, I will admit this is um, my regular clothes, but I just think, I think it's so fitting. And honestly, this is what I would wear if I was running a specialty bookstore, which sounds like so much fun, by the way. I went for something that is quirky yet comfortable. <laughs> You can easily wear all day while working, um, but it also keeps you warm. You can 
put the sweater on, take the sweater off. It's a practical outfit, but also cute. <laughs> And I just think it really goes with the uh, kind of bookish vibes. Lots of layers. I'm wearing a vest again. It's a, a vesty day today, apparently. But, you know, I don't even care because vests are amazing. And I should wear them more. My ultimate favorite skirt, which I live in, which I found at a vintage store. My boots with some nice and warm and fuzzy socks inside. I have my hair in a braid. And yeah, this is the look. I love it. I will wear this. I have worn this, I will wear it again. <laughs> and this is what I would wear if I was running a specialty bookstore. All right, guys, that is it. I'm gonna stop here for today. This was so much fun to do. Thank you so much for sending in the suggestions. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. I always think it's really fun to look at your wardrobe in a little bit of a different way than you maybe normally would. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more fashion, but also sewing, beauty, and lifestyle videos. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!